There's something so unique about what Dan Brown has created here in this Robert Langdon character and the kinds of mystery predicaments that he puts him in that is A, incredibly original, uh, B, thought-provoking, and C, on a filmic level, irresistible. And so when I had the opportunity to go on with the Robert Langdon character, uh, I, I really, you know, I, I couldn't imagine not going further with it. Well, Tom loves movies, and he has a lot of respect for audiences. And uh, as, as excited as he was to capture the truth behind Apollo 13 and entertain through um, sort of recounting the experience for, for film audiences. And as much as he trusted that, he takes equal pleasure in bringing this Dan Brown adventuresome world to the screen through his Robert Langdon character. And, um, and it's, it's, he has a lot of fun, and yet he does always talk about playing fair with the audience and uh, um, you know, imagining himself watching the film and not wanting to feel um, cheated or tricked. Uh, and he's a great collaborator. You know, it's, Tom has reached a point in his career where he's proven himself, you know, not only as a two-time Academy Award winning actor, and I don't know how many nominations, uh, but uh, you know, he's a wonderful producer. He's, a, he's an excellent director. He's a fine writer, and and so uh, you know one of the things that I like to do, while he's very respectful to me as the director of the film, is I'm constantly trying to engage Tom on a on a on a broad, comprehensive uh, level because he's a you know he's a he's a fine filmmaker, a very creative guy. So Tom and I spent a couple of days doing screen tests with, uh, you know, a wide array of really talented um, young leading ladies, and, and one of them was Ayelet Zurer, who would be in, we had seen in Steven Spielberg's movie Munich, uh, and and also in Vantage Point, uh, and also did um, um, some some great work in television, and uh, and she came in and absolutely won the role. Uh, her chemistry was great. With, with Hanks, uh, and, uh, and, you know, and that, that began in that audition and carried on through the shooting. Ewan McGregor is one of these actors that I've, I've admired for a long time. I've always wanted to work with. Um, he certainly didn't come in and, and audition. I felt we were very lucky to get him, uh, but I did have a chance to meet him. He came in for our conversation, and uh, he had his motorcycle leathers on, and he just finished a long, a long bike ride, uh, and uh, uh, and and I, I, um, you know, he, he had really liked the book, and was excited about delving into this this world of the the Vatican and what you see behind the curtain um, at at something as eventful and significant as conclave. Um, he did a great job, and I knew that that you know all the scenes between Ewan McGregor and Tom Hanks would be supercharged in a, in a particular way, and they are. And they're, they're, it was it was uh, it was it was it was it was good. Those were those were good fun days work, working with those two in the same scenes. Business partnership and friendship. This was this was uh, you know net yet another really memorable um, adventure for Brian and I. And uh, as a as a producer, uh, Brian was going to be involved in Angels and Demons no matter what, whether I directed it or not. And uh, we started talking about it, and I I thought it was uh, um, I really appreciated you know how careful he was about helping me make sure that 
working on Angels and Demons was something that I wanted to do, not for business reasons, but, you know, as a creative person. And uh, he didn't want me to feel like that for the sake of Imagine Films or Sony or, you know, him as a producer, that I would feel obliged to do it. That, uh, but he only, he only wanted me to, to commit to it if I really thought I was going to be creatively excited. And uh, as we began working on the story and visiting the locations, uh, you know, I, I found it to be irresistible. And I'm, you know, really, really glad that I, uh, I, I signed on to, to make Angels and Demons.